and welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the description in the playlist, or the playlist, the link to the playlist in the description of this video uh, to watch. Well, this is uh, the first one was just about where to get the assets you need to to create a Doom level. And again, uh, creating Doom levels is fun. It's easy. It's Doom is designed so well that even with a little bit of experience you can make something nice out of it but also Doom itself is free and open source and if you have no um, experience in game design and development it's a good place to start it is um, has a lot a large community around it and instead of trying to create a game from scratch to have something already there and modify it that's where a lot of people start it gives you a concept of how things work so that in the future when you do want to go create your own thing, you already have a basic idea of how things are supposed to work. Um, here we are, we're going to be using the Eureka Doom Editor, which is what the series is about. Um, once you have it installed and you open it up, uh, you're probably going to get some sort of level here, and it's depending on what WAD file you have. I have uh, the Doom 2 WAD file as my default WAD file. And if you go up to File, you can go to uh, Project, uh, Manage Project, and here you can see that you can choose what WAD file you want to do. By default, I'm defaulting to uh, Doom 2, uh, but I have all these other ones installed because I, I have Doom, Doom 2, I have um, uh, what, uh, Final Doom, and then I also have the Free Doom WADs. Uh, the port source here, or source port, uh, would be whatever... Doom uh, port that you're going to be using. I use PR Boom, so I chose Boom. And uh, map type, that's probably only going to see Doom format there, but you can also probably, I'm assuming, using this for things like Heretic and other uh, Doom like games. And now these resource files here. Again, uh, when it comes to Doom, you have two basic elements. You have your executable, it's the program, it's the actual game, this, the, the, the program. But then you have your WAD file, which is all your assets, your elements, your, your textures, your um, sprites, your sounds, your music. Well, you can create your own WAD files that maybe have new uh, graphics for sprites in there, new textures. And if you want to use those in the editor, you can load those here by clicking load and clicking on those. So that's the first thing you want to do is set that up. And again, when you start it up, it's going to show this is the first level of Doom 2, since that's the WAD file that I have chosen. Let's talk about um, Doom itself. Doom uh, might seem like a 3D game, but it's not really 3D. It's a 2D game, and I'm not going to get into the technical aspects of that, but it's a 2D game that looks 3D, so uh, it looks something like this when you play. Um, but because it's 2D, you can't have one level above another. So you have steps here in front of us uh, that you can walk up, but you can't have a shelf that you can walk under and over. There are some things you can do to kind of fake that and cheat that, but in general you don't have, uh, you can't have multiple levels above each other. So the way Doom works, and this is a, a concept, once you wrap your head around it makes creating levels a lot easier, is that everything is built on sectors and I like to think of a sector as a room so you have a room um, and each room has a floor height and a ceiling height so this is one room here and then this is another room or sector here and it has a different floor height and or ceiling height they both seem to have the same ceiling height if you look over here on the right you can see all your your aspects for your sector so these are sectors. So let's talk about these different modes you can be in in Eureka. So right now we're in sector mode. If you come down here to the bottom left, you can see mode. And we're in sector mode where we can select sectors and we can change uh, information about those. Things you might change in a sector, again, the floor height, the ceiling height, the ceiling texture, and the floor texture. Um, you can also um, choose different types, which we'll talk about more in the future, uh, but things like whether the lights flash, uh, whether the room gives you damage when you go in there, um, and also things like doors and elevators or lifts are rooms, and so they have special settings as well as far as types. Uh, another things you have access to when you are creating these is you can give them tags, which we'll talk about more in the future, but that's where you can link different things to that sector. And then your, your light. Uh, so if you're 
The higher the number, the brighter it is. The lower the number, the darker it is, basically. And we'll look at that more in the future as well. So that's a quick overview of sectors. Let's go down here to mode again. And you can see that uh, vertices is another option. And that is what you might draw your sectors with. So for example, you can see that each wall is connected by a vertice. If you probably know what a vertice is if you've done anything 3D or maybe worked with um, uh, SVG files. Um, so we can take those and then we'll talk about this more, but I can draw and now I just added a whole new other sector over here, or I can add to a wall sector here, a wall in the sector, which walls are called lines. So that's a quick look at vertices. I think that's pretty straightforward. We come down here to mode, we can now choose lines and the lines are the walls and the walls are what have their textures here. So if I go into the 3D view here, you can already see um, a preview here. I added this little closet over here and brought this wall in so it has a little point right there. But now I can choose different um, walls or lines here, these walls, and I can change the texture. So there you go. You can see that we have a new texture on there because I clicked on it. And again, we'll go more into detail on this. But basically, I just selected it and then found the texture I wanted over here. If for some reason this texture box isn't showing, when you click on a wall or a line, uh, you can click on texture over here and it should bring up all the textures, which are broken down into different categories. And you can also search through if you know the name of what you're looking for. So like if I wanted that wall texture to have a switch on it, I can just type in SW and it should show most our switches here, at which point I can add a switch. But you can see, we'll talk more about how to align tech, uh, uh, textures on the walls a little bit better in the future videos. But you notice that there's one texture there, but if I was to click something like this step over here, you can see that you now have six different texture boxes here. Uppers, lowers, rail, upper, and upper. Well, I guess lower, lower, rails, and uppers. Um, so again, everything's 2D, and it's all about the wall uh, ceiling and floor heights. So if I choose this sector here, I'm going to lower the ceiling down some. And I'll raise the floor up more. And you can see what we've created here. We've moved that step up in the ceiling down. And you can see these exclamation marks here. That's because there's no upper texture. So let's go back to our line mode here. And with these lines selected, we can choose what texture you want. So this one, you can see it's an exclamation mark now because it's, it's visible, but we haven't applied a texture to it. So I can click that and I can choose a texture like so, and now that texture is on the upper. I can choose the lower and give it this texture. Oh, I have them both selected. Let's just give them different textures so you can see the difference. So we have an upper and lower. Now these are the backside. Now this particular wall, you can't see, or line, you can't see the backside. And you can see this little line sticking out from the line. That's the front and the other side would be the back. So if I was to unselect these and select this one, you can see that we have upper and lower for this, but you don't even see that side when it comes to that wall. And hopefully this will all make more sense as you learn more about how Doom works. But you can see the back side is not selected or doesn't have a texture. So we will select those and give them a brick texture here. And I should select this other whoops, wall here. And again, we'll just give them all a texture like so. So that, those are that's a basic overview of lines. So we've talked about um, sectors, vertices, lines, and the last thing is things, which obviously are the things, the um, players, positions, weapons, pickups, enemies, such as that. So those are all here. And again, I can click on one of these and change it. So I can make that a bad guy instead of a gun. I can choose this. And these are all listed here. You can search through them, but you can also go to categories. So if I just want to look at, uh, I want to look at health and armor, I can now, I have two things selected. I can make them both med packs. Uh, and again, we're going to go over everything in more detail in the future. This is just a quick overview. And if I didn't mention it earlier, let's go back to the sectors and I can change the ceiling and floor. So I can either click, this is the ceiling here, and I can click here and make the floor that. Another way to do it is if you don't have either of those selected and you click on one of these, it's going to change the floor. If you left click, if you right click, it's going to change the ceiling. So left click, right click, left click, right click. 
And as far as what you see in the map here, whether you're seeing the floor or the ceiling texture, uh, you can change that somewhere. I usually just leave it as the floor uh, sector rendering so you can render nothing. So it's just lines and you can render the floors, you can render the ceilings, I guess you can render lighting so you can see how bright each room is, which is helpful if you're trying to fade the light out and sound, uh, which we'll talk about more in the future. Uh, but you can block sound through different walls and you're going to definitely want to do that in some cases. But for right now, we'll just move this back to floors because that's what I work in mostly. So that was a quick overview of the different elements. Oh, I do want to mention, so we clicked on this uh, mode down here and chose different ones, but you can change the mode with keyboard shortcuts. So when I'm clicked in my map view here, I can hit uh, V to go to vertices mode, L to go to line mode, S to go to sector mode, and T to go to thing mode. Pretty straightforward, and that's a lot quicker than coming down to this mode menu here. So again, S for sectors, V for vertices, L for lines, and T for things. I think that's fairly easy to remember. So that's a quick overview of the basic elements of the interface. We'll talk about, obviously, things more detail in future videos. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.